I don't know. Since I almost missed Duran Duran Appreciation Day, can I really call myself a fan? Yeah, I guess I can. <laughs> Greetings one and all, welcome to Tom's Hit Parade, and I'm disappointed. And I'm not sure whether to be more disappointed in myself or in the internet. You see, I'm a really big Duran Duran fan, and I didn't know until just a couple of days ago that today, August 10th, is Duran Duran Appreciation Day. And honestly, I, as big a Duran Duran fan as I am, I should have known about that. It's been going on for several years, I'm not sure how many years, and from what I could tell on the internet, I don't think anybody knows exactly how many years it's been going on. But uh, really, I, I should have known, I, I think, but then... When I think about the internet, I mean, the internet tells me all the time about, oh, National Cupcake Day and National Best Friends Day. It's like, I don't want to know about that crap. I want to know about Duran Duran Appreciation Day. It's like, come on, internet, you're not doing your job. Anyway, uh, so yeah, as I said, uh, yes, I have been a big fan of Duran Duran for uh, a number of years. E ever since they put out their sophomore album, which was in, you know, 83 or so, I've been listening to them. I've been loving them uh, sometimes more than at other times. You know, my, my interest in them has kind of waxed and waned over the years. But still, they have been one of my perennial favorites uh, ever since they started, basically, uh, for, yeah, 30-plus uh, years now. And I've always considered them one of my, uh, as I call it, holy trinity of 80s artists, which is Duran Duran, Men at Work, and Huey Lewis in the News. They've always been my favorites, you know, since the 80s. So... As soon as I realized about the quickly approaching Duran Duran Appreciation Day, I knew I had to do a video, and you can bet that since it's an annual thing, every August 10th or thereabouts, I will be doing a video showing some aspect or another of my appreciation for one of the greatest bands of the 80s, in my humble opinion. Uh, and my first instinct for do uh, when I realized this was coming up was I wanted to, to rank all of Duran Duran's albums in my order of least favorite to most favorite, but, uh, well... Time was a little too short for that. I I still had to put in several hours of listening, especially on their more recent albums, in order to do a proper ranking. So I decided, well, since time is a lot shorter, I thought I'd do something that requires a lot less listening time. And so I'm ranking my 25 favorite Duran Duran songs. Uh, yes, most of them are singles, but there are a few album tracks in there that I thought I'd throw in. And uh, since I loved Duran Duran's uh, early work uh, much more than their more recent work, Many, most of their songs on this list will be coming from their singles. And uh, you can see here I've got the Duran Duran singles box set, uh, 81 to 85. This is probably my favorite uh, period of Duran Duran, uh, Duran Duran's discography. So, but anyway, since time is precious and I want to get this video up as soon as possible, it takes a few hours to upload a video on my less than speedy internet connection. Let's go ahead and get started uh, with my list of my 25 favorite Duran Duran songs. Starting the list off at number 25 is Electric Barbarella from their ninth album, Medazzaland, in 1997. It's just a really fun, dancey kind of song. Uh, that I, I just enjoy it for that, for that aspect. But also it happens to name check the name of the movie from which Duran Duran got their name. It's the science fiction classic Barbarella. Uh, number 24 on my list is Do You Believe in Shame? And that is off of their fifth album, Big Thing, from 1989. Now, the album was not one of their better ones, in my opinion, uh, and this single was actually its least successful. But for some reason, I just really enjoy its kind of subdued vibe, and that's actually one of the few subdued tracks on that album. Also from their album Big Thing is my 23rd favorite Duran Duran song of all time, and that is I Don't Want Your Love. And that happens to be the most successful single off that album. Uh, it is much more house-oriented, uh, you know, bass-heavy dance kind of stuff than anything that they'd ever done before. And for that reason, amongst others, it's probably the reason why these two songs are the only two songs from that album that are on my countdown. Coming in at number 22 on my favorite songs list from Duran Duran's discography is a pretty big one, and that is Hungry Like the Wolf from their sophomore album Rio. And maybe strange to have a, such a big single so far down on the list, but that tends to happen with pretty much all the artists that I like. If a single tends to be really big, really ubiquitous, like Hungry Like the Wolf was, sometimes it can be, you know, way down on my list just because I've gotten a little tired of listening to it so much over the years. 
Uh, so it, it, in, a, in that way, it, they kind of lose their appeal for me. But, you know, still a really good song. It's just, you know, it kind of got worn out as much as it was played. So what can I say? Coming in at number 21 on my countdown is Come Undone, and it is off of their self-titled seventh album, also known as The Wedding Album. And yes, it is one of their best albums. I'm not sure if it's at number one on my album's countdown or not. You'll find out next year. Uh, and it is one of the better tracks, although as you'll see, there are a few more from that album that I definitely very much enjoy. Number 20 on my list is the title track from their 13th album, All You Need Is Now. Uh, the title song and the opening track from this Mark Ronson produced album, it brought back some of that, uh, what I like to call junky funky sound from their glory days. It's just, it's just a great upbeat song and a fantastic way to kick off that album. My 19th all-time favorite Duran Duran song is Falling Down, and that is off of their 12th album, Red Carpet Massacre, from 2007. And I honestly don't know what else to say about the song other than the fact that it's just got a bit of a, a spacey, far-out kind of a sound to it. Uh, it's just something that Duran Duran has always been really good at, and that's just what made this song really catch my ear when I first heard it. Number 18 on my list is A View to a Kill. That is off of the soundtrack from the James Bond film of the same name. Now, I never could get into James Bond, but uh, this single brought me as close as I could get. Uh, it, it Just the song itself made me want to see the movie. And, you know, I figured if that really couldn't get me into a James Bond movie, nothing could. So it certainly wasn't for lack of trying, but it's a fantastic song and an excellent addition to their discography. Holding the number 17 spot on my countdown is a song called Sirius, and that is from Duran Duran's sixth album, Liberty, from 1990. And that's one of the more mid-tempo singles that didn't get nearly as much attention as I felt it deserved. It was one of the standout tracks, even though that album as a whole was one of the weaker efforts uh, from the band, in my opinion. Number 16 on my countdown is Too Much Information, and that is my second selection from their wedding album from 1993. Uh, the lyrics... Uh, and keep in mind, this is from 1993 when there was no internet, there was no social media yet. The lyrics were about how we're seemingly bombarded at all hours with all sorts of audiovisual stimuli, and they were talking more about advertising pretty much everywhere you looked, you know, on TV, radio, print, and everywhere else. Uh, and But if anything, the lyrics are even more meaningful today in our age of, you know, internet. I mean, we're just absolutely, you know, more than ever, 24-7, just faced with audiovisual stimuli of all sorts. You know, the song even takes on more meaning 25 some years later. And also that song holds a special place in my heart because uh, I named my uh, first Duran Duran Greatest Hits compilation, Homemade Compilation, after that song. Coming in at number 15 on my list is the first non-single. It's an album track off of All You Need Is Now, and it's called Mediterranea. And I'm not sure what it is I like about that song so much. Uh, near as I can figure, it's a cross between the more lush, atmospheric sound of their single Save a Prayer, combined with the tropical getaway sort of a sensibility of their song Rio. So in that respect, I kind of see it as a, a combination of the best qualities of those two songs. Number 14 on my list is a single from their album Astronaut from 2005. It's called What Happens Tomorrow. And it's perhaps a bit ordinary sounding for a Duran Duran song, but there's just something I like about it. What can I say? I, it's another one of those songs that I just I can't say a whole lot about it other than I really enjoyed it. Number 13 on my list is The Reflex, and that is the most successful single from their third album, Seven and the Ragged Tiger, from 1984. It was actually their biggest hit single to date, but uh, the song never totally won me over as much as their other singles did, uh, hence why it's not even in the top ten. Uh, it might have to do with that why yeah 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 refrain it just it just always struck me as a little bit silly what can i say my 12th favorite duran duran song of all time is another album track it's called the sun doesn't shine forever and it's off of their 10th album pop trash from 2000 and it's another one of those where i can't say a whole lot about the song other than it's just beautiful it's a beautiful ballad it's it's kind of atypical for a duran duran song which might be why it sounds makes it so appealing it's just you know it's pretty ordinary, and Duran Duran doesn't often do ordinary. And that's probably one reason why it caught my ear. It's just, I just think it's a beautiful ballad. Coming in at number 11 on my countdown is the title track from Duran Duran's fourth album, Notorious. And despite its interesting new sound uh, with more funk elements and brass accents provided by producer Niall Rogers, 
it would actually be the last single of theirs that I would really, really enjoy for several years after. Um, and it, in a way, in retrospect, I just didn't realize how much they'd lost uh, when they became a trio after their big split in the mid-80s. And here we have arrived at my top 10 favorite Duran Duran songs of all time. Coming in at number 10 is actually their most recent single, Pressure Off, from their 14th album Paper Gods from 2015. Now, not only did this single feature the winning combo of Janelle Monet and Niall Rogers, I mean, how can you go wrong with that? But sonically, it was the most exciting Duran Duran single in a decade for me. It was just, it was super dancey, it was super fun. It was like vintage Duran Duran from the good old days for me. Number nine on my list is Ordinary World, and that is a single from their wedding album from 1993. Yeah, just when we thought Duran Duran's best days were behind them for good, uh, they hit us with this gorgeously echoey and sweeping hit single from Out of the Blue. It was, it's one of their most successful singles, and for very, very good reason. I love that song. My eighth favorite Duran Duran song of all time is Save a Prayer, and that's a single off of their sophomore album, Rio, from 1982. And I mentioned it a few minutes ago as being this very lush sounding ballad, and it's got some uh, unique synth lines that really hadn't been heard in music at all before that point. It was just, it was very ear grabbing, but in a very subtle and seductive way. And so that was really the allure with that track. It's honestly, it is one of Duran Duran's all time highlights in my opinion. Number seven on my list is a relatively new single, and it is Reach Up For The Sunrise off of their 11th album, Astronaut from 2004. Now, I hadn't been a big Duran Duran fan for over 10 years at that point, and when I heard that the original lineup was coming back, and I heard this song, it, it immediately grabbed me. I mean, it gave me a new enthusiasm for Duran Duran for many reasons. It just harkened back. It was the first song in a very long time that harkened back to that classic Duran Duran sound that I heard and enjoyed growing up. For number six on my list, we're going back to their sophomore album, Rio, with the title track. Now, everybody knows this song, honestly, even if you're not a Duran Duran fan, you know the song. As much for the imagery in the video as for the song itself, especially when it comes to people of my generation. It's just, it's one of those songs that, in my opinion, you can't love Duran Duran without loving that song. It's just, it's a classic and for very, very good reason. Now, of course, the last part of that pretty much goes without saying when you're in the top ten list, and especially when you've gotten down to the top five. Yes, that's right. My fifth favorite Duran Duran song of all time is Planet Earth, and that is from their self-titled debut album from 1981. Now, you have to understand, back in the early to mid-80s, I was very much into sci-fi, science fiction, movies and TV shows. Uh, I even had a telescope when I was a kid, and I, for a while there, I wanted to be an astronomer when I grew up, so anything of a space nature, anything that had a remotely science fiction or space ring to it was going to be a hit with me, and, of course, a song called Planet Earth it was pretty much inevitable that that song would uh, be a favorite of mine back then, uh, and it still is today. What can I say? I just love it. It's, it's in my top five, obviously, so it's just one of my all-time favorites. It's a really catchy song, and uh, it's no wonder that Duran Duran became popular early on with a song like that. Number four on my list is from their third album, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. It is a song called New Moon on Monday. And that was probably the least successful single from that album, but for some reason, it was my favorite. Uh, perhaps it's because the uh, uh, atypical chord progression and the slightly asymmetrical time signature, I guess you'd say, between the pre-chorus and the chorus. Uh, listen to the listen to the song yourself. Uh, you'll you'll probably understand what I mean. It's just one of the th one of the things that endeared me to that song, and one of the reasons it's still one of my favorites today. My number three favorite Duran Duran song of all time is the highest ranking non-single. It is an album track called None of the Above, and that is off of their self-titled wedding album from 1993. Now, for some reason, the lyrics just struck a chord with me uh, at that point in my life. It was uh, all about relying on yourself and not putting too much stock in religion or government or any kind of figure that you would ordinarily presume to be an authority figure. So. Not that I was ever terribly rebellious, I, I don't know why it struck such a chord with me, but uh, probably because of the religion angle, I've never been religious. But uh, yeah, it's just it was just a song that really, really spoke to me for some, for some reason. And now the runner-up for my favorite Duran Duran song of all time, Is There Something I Should Know? Now this was originally released as a non-album single in 1983, between their Rio and Seven and the Ragged Tiger albums, but it was eventually added to the track listing of the American reissue of their debut album later on that same year. Now this song just grabs your attention right from the very beginning. It just 
it's just fantastic. It it rocks as hard as anything Duran Duran have ever put out. I mean, if if this song doesn't make you a Duran Duran fan after you listen to it, I don't know if anything will. It was just fantastic, uh, and it's number two on my list for a very, very good reason. And now, my number one favorite Duran Duran song of all time is their 1984 single, The Wild Boys. Now, I'm not quite sure why it's my favorite. Uh, it it carries, for one reason, it carries forward the audiovisual aesthetic from their Seven and the Ragged Tiger singles. Uh, just It was just a very, very unique sounding song back in its time. It has almost a bit of a world music uh, bent to it with the, the heavy percussion. And the video is just very, very eye-catching. And if you're from the MTV generation like me, the visuals were as ingrained into your brain as the song was. They were kind of part and parcel of each other. But in my opinion, the song holds its own. And it is, um, as I said, it is my absolute favorite Duran Duran song of all time. Well, there you have it for the ranking of my all-time favorite Duran Duran songs. I'm sorry I couldn't be more uh, expository about uh, some of the songs, especially the higher ranked ones, but I had to put this list together in a fair bit of a hurry, but uh, I am very, very secure, especially in the top five or ten of my favorites. I mean, I had to go and re-listen to some of the songs uh, to, to do the final rankings, especially the, the bottom ten or fifteen, uh, but I am very, very confident in this list. I wouldn't put it up on my channel if I weren't, but uh, yeah, if I'd had more notice, thanks again, Internet for uh, the fact that Duran Duran Appreciation Day was coming up. I would have uh, worked on this a lot more and had more time to write notes and all that. But I hope it met with your satisfaction all the same. And I hope, for those of you who are not Duran Duran listeners, that uh, maybe this will convince you to take a dive into their discography and see what you might have been missing. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I appreciate the feedback, whether about this video or anything on my channel, or about music in general. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. I invite you to subscribe to my channel as well and check out my past videos to see what you might have missed. I'm also on Twitter, and you can find the link to my Twitter feed in the description below, so check it out and follow along. Also, please take the time to visit my friends and fellow YouTubers' channels, which are also linked to in my description below. They're all great at what they do, and they're very much worth your attention. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music stop.